Yeah, I'm not liking the maze. But to be honest, the maze is pretty bad. Oh, I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah. And he may not. Man, dude, you working for Cerberus and you learned about an assassin? Man, if you don't shut your mouth. Alright, folks, we are back. We're gonna go back on the Ilium and and uh go on our next mission. Jacob, I oh I don't like you, boy. I really don't. Submachine gun damage, yes. Give me that, please. Emergency shielding, I'll take that too. Heavy weapon ammo. Alright. We've gotten Thane, but we're not done with Ilium just yet. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Probably from the elusive man. Elizabeth, oh. Yeah. We're heading back to Ilium. Where we have to recruit the Justicar, help Miranda, and help uh, Liara. So I guess for this, we'll take Miranda and Jack. Spin points, and, yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with that. Oh, I got four points. Um, let's go with pull. Wait, what's warp? Um, no, nah, we'll go with pull. Well, let's go with throw. Alright. Am I going the right way? I think so. So we need to find... Coming up later today, we release our anti-NR anti-defamation. Listen, I know... That are what is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you talk. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it! Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Uh, there's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Yeah, now stop being so rude. Now, where is... Uh... The Asari Justicar? Oh, okay, I am about to say transportation, huh? Tired of training employees only to lose them to your competitors? Perhaps Indenture Tech can help. The leading provider of cutting edge indentured service. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. 
I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Oh, I guess... Wait, where's the terminal I can hack? Officer Dara? No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Wasn't she the one that the guy was so excited to see? Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. Um, I thought you were purple last time. I'll, I'll have to go back and check. Was she always green? How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Um, so what brings you here? What are you doing here on Ilium? Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. You know, I'm glad you... <laughs> so I was right. <laughs> I was right because she was purple last I remember. Wait a minute. Shiala, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Blue? Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Okay. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. Hmm. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No, but they can declare us in breach of contract, which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Yeah, and about... Well, okay, you're green because of that illness, but what about the other green Asari on this place? And they go some that are purple, like... But I thought she was purple. I don't remember her being blue. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or did she kill somebody already? So what if she did? <laughs> what? Relax, I just need to speak with her. Good, Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. 
She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. I forgot I'm an alien. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Hmm. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody mm. becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the camera. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Thanks for your help. Good luck with the Justicar. Try not to piss her off. It's amazing how you guys use gender-specific references when you are not... Uh, when you're monogendered. Yeah, I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Um... Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. You see things my way, so I didn't have to. Did you to... get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. You know, that's very disrespectful. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. 
You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Wait. What are you trying to say? Man, if you You know Irinia won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. Um A racial slur to the Asari. I'm telling you, relax. Thax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse Mercs, some Justicar, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Who are you talking to? I'm on a call. And you, you know what? Mm. Everybody's always on a call. So apparently that Arania Asari was upset at the fact that the Geth came and Sovereign came and killed all of her family members. Um, let's see, who can we bring here? I'm not bringing Zaid. I'm never gonna bring Zaid. Uh, we'll go with Jack. No, I meant to check that submachine gun. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. No, I'm not gonna help you out. Stop looking this way. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dagny Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. Hmm. Why would these Mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. 
You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. <sighs> Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's well, unhealthy at least you're to be honest. a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. Not every Asari. They are didn't want to be one. Good, here we go. Now, they said I had a submachine gun. I guess I don't. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Self-correcting policy. Fortunate in our case, of course. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. Really? You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Seems like just the cause is stupid. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Let's remember that next time Shepard sends us into impossible odds. Twice a day, on average. Hey. Hey. Most of the time I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Help. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. Good I'm luck. a specter. How dare you? find Samara before the detective does. How dare you make sport of me? I am a... a... A specter who stopped Saren, killed a reaper. You can't talk to me like that. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Uh huh. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Area, let's consider this extra stock surplus. Ship the rest to Thax at his normal destination. He'll never miss a few lost pieces.
That is so weird how they sound when they get hit. Moving on. Uh oh. Those were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. Well, she killed you. Well, not yet, but... What was the name of the ship she left on? Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Um... My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? Now, I have a question here. You, Asari, are pure alien. So why would you tell her to go to the lake? I guess that means it doesn't matter what species are out there. There will always be a heaven and a lake of fire. Am I friend or foe? We're friends. I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I oh. cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Hmm. This is a... Uh... This is a... Uh... uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car's in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara starts killing anyone in her way? I am afraid so. And you don't care? You have no sympathy, no nothing? There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Um... Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel Asari space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. Hmm. A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Logical calculation. Slim odds, but possible. Better than impossible. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Do you have any leads? 
The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Man, she is serious business. Like... I'm not scared. I'm never scared, but the rest of y'all might be in some trouble. Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse, so they are perturbed and want to kill me. <laughs> it sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. <laughs> all right, so it looks like Use Pitney Forest cue card to access the Eclipse hideout elevator. I guess now I can't use the map. Maybe I have to go back into the. Wait a minute, what's over here? Now keep in mind, Jack is a powerful biotic too, so she might be able to handle Samara. We've been spotted. What? Mind over matter. Shepard, my scans confirm that the chemical compound will boost biotics. However, concentrated exposure will cause severe tissue damage. I recommend limited exposure. Where'd she go? I mean... You mean I could have shot the window out? Weakening their integrity. <coughs> You're toast. I'll tear you apart. Uh, 
How dare you? Shepard, my scans confirm that the chemical I'm aware, I'm aware. Biotics. However, concentrated exposure will cause severe tissue damage. I recommend limited exposure. Okay. Why do they get all these good weapons, man? I heard somebody talking, just come on out. Don't do something you regret. Wait, stop! I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. You're in an enemy uniform, and I'm gonna kill you. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. What do they do here that you don't like, Elnora? I thought we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys and stuff, right? But no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. What? What does Ardat Yakshi mean? It's an ancient Asari word for something that... I thought was just a superstition until now. It means demon of the night winds. I didn't think they were real, but the boss said this scary lady was one. What ship did they use for the smuggling? Wow, I have no idea. It was a few days ago, and like I said, I'm new. They didn't tell me anything. What do they do here that you don't like, Eldora? Oh, I thought we'd be flying, but no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an art at Yakshi. Fine, get out of get here. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. I don't like unnecessarily this ending. This should come in handy. If I don't have to end you, I'm not going to. But you're lucky, because when you pulled that gun out, I started to take you out anyway. I see that little toxic level meter down there. Say running low on ammo. Power cells. Well, it's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Volus. She played me. Exploding rounds blew the suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are going to be so jealous. 
She played Nora me. Was the killer? I shouldn't have released her. We could tell the detective this. I should have killed her. I should have killed her. She played me. I have to admit that was kind of smart. I mean, think about it. If you came face to face with Batman, and he was like, "You're going down," and you and you begged for your life, you knew he would spare you. So it's smart. It, it, that was a smart play, well played. Just know though, I'm not Batman. Oh boy. I'm not Batman, so if I, if I catch you again, you're dead. Say, why are you running away? I was standing Get him out of here. That was. We could deal with them dogs later. Shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. Not what Samara seeks, but proof that the Volus is a criminal. Detective Anaya would want to see this. We've got to keep moving. So there's two things we got to tell the detective about. Nick, Nick Fucal. I am a biotic god. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... A great wind. <laughs> a great bionic wind. Okay. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. <laughs> They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Four's trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He didn't say anything about you going missing. Didn't want to get stuck here. Pitney picks money over friends. Unsurprising. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. 
I shall toss with Sarah about like a rag doll. Fifteen creds says the little guy doesn't get five steps in before the Merc explodes him. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic-rich blood will be the last... <laughs> but... Great Wind... Biotic God. I'm. I. What was I saying? I'm. Tired. You. May be right. Yes, I'm tired. Hold nap. Destroy the universe later. <laughs> he doesn't deserve to live. I mean, who gave you that right to make that decision? How dare you? Did you deserve to live after all the people you killed? Everything's gone to since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! <laughs> it's about to- You think I'm scared of you? You realize I fought Saren the Gift? Samara requires. Where? Where is the... Oh, the data pad. Okay. There's just a car here, probably looking for the one we sent off to the AML whatever. I was happy to see her go. She chilled me to the bone. I just hope this just a car doesn't mess up my brain. This is probably the ship that crazy Asari is looking for. Want to head back now or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. Something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. Man, who are you talking to? And and how is this in custody? Where's the handcuffs? Where's the jail cell at? This ain't in custody. She chilling. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. I expect you to follow orders. The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? You continue to impress. Yes, I was here tracking the Ardat Yakshi. She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. After your mission is complete, of course. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. 
I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. Okay, you're taking this way too serious. I mean, I get it, it's almost... By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. What?! Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame this Elnora escaped, but I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Alright, I guess we return to the Normandy. So now I guess, yeah, they talk about the Justicar. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. So you're okay, you're okay with Samara, but you're not okay with Thane. Whatever, bro. Alright, folks, we have finished up the mission to get Samara on board. Um, Singularity. I think I'll get Singularity next. Um, when we come back, we will do... Liara's mission and then we'll be off I guess to the next recruitment mission hope you guys enjoyed the video you saw this just a car is no joke but yeah until next time you guys know what to do stay blessed